Hey guys, we're at Great Bend. I have to think about it for a minute. Been so many different places. Uh, last day. Today, you essentially need to break the beams to uh, cement whatever position you were in for the overall average. And then we're doing a shootout. So all of these rowdy radio cars that have been within a few hundreds of each other all week are going head to head, random chip draw, uh, green light, whoever wins, no time's on, so it's gonna be tricky you have to like kind of guess what your, the guy next to you is running, you can't just like watch and dial into it. So that'll make it kind of fun and a lot of uh, pretty good challenge. So I think we fare pretty well. We just need to cut a light essentially. I mean, we're all right there. So it's gonna be probably one on a tree more than it is on ET. So I just, now it's time for me to do my job. Red's been tuning, I've been tuning, but now it's mostly on me. So poor Red, hopefully I do my job right. Right chip and they let me run by myself we are an odd number of people i can't get that again you can only get it one time well. so the next so, pass has to be against uh, a competitor totally, totally and there's not really here, much uh, right you know so we can get there's nothing thing. easy going on here right now so Done, um, can, uh, it's really hot inside the car here. that doesn't matter as much as right the fact that we're gonna have to keep taming it down because i think the track temp's like 140 which is almost unused it is unusable so we pretty much were shooting for like a high 530 there probably like a 35 to 38 and I think honestly the way the track is we're probably gonna have like a 560 will probably win this thing it's just hard to use the track right now and Travis knows that he's a uh, no prep guy so he knows what um, he knows he needs to slow it down to uh, win you know it's kind of a backwards way of thinking so that's what we're gonna do is slow it down a little bit because if we can't get down the track you know you lose so much time when you start pedaling a car like that so see what we can do it's hot dude it's hot I've never raced a radio, had a radio car run down a track this hot, so we're gonna have to take a big step, like Doug said. You just gotta be on the light, and you gotta go down the track. If we can go down the track under full throttle, I got pretty good confidence we'll make it, but we turned it down quite a bit right then, and it didn't even act like it wanted to move, so it's gonna have, we're gonna have to turn it down a whole lot more. You know, one of the things a lot of people forget by the end of this week is they're running out of fuel. Uh, they're just in a hurry and they stop filling their fuel cell up to the same level. So then you have less weight on the back of the car. One of the things that we always do is have a pretty consistent fuel level because that can make a huge change as far as traction, especially when that, um, you know, that heat gets on the track. So, you know, just the same as the shocks in the front, you want to make sure you have the same weight bias in the back so that 
your tune-ups consistent. So fill those tanks back up to where they are. Good. Wish us some luck. Final piece of weight to go in the trunk. This jack. We're gonna throw the jack right in the trunk. Weight on those back tires. So we're gonna let you stick the jack right there. Get her wedged in there, nice. That's the last weight we really need. So see how it goes. So in addition to weight, I'm on, I'm moving our wicker bill up. So basically, you can see back here, it gives more of a lip here, which will actually put more downforce on the back of the car. So we're kind of pulling out all the stops. I normally don't ever, ever, ever adjust that, but why not use it if it's at your disposal? So hopefully all this is enough, but we will see here shortly. We're gonna run. probably feeling good this is the dude we got to run in the final so I'm gonna watch him and kind of see what kind of adjustments we need to make There's no traction on the line. We're basically at a no prep that's really hot right now. So uh, Red did a good job. You know, we kind of put our heads together and decided where we needed to be. And the car obviously took it off the line. So we got the toughest component of the whole week next round, final. So it's going to be a good matchup. And uh, I think it's just going to be a down to the wire type thing. So. thing ever when one of your good customers beats you but we tried our best we jumped out on him he just has more power we started tasing the tires down the track so i just did what i could to keep it straight but i mean if you're gonna lose a race that's probably the best way to lose a race it was a close one at the end and i just had a great week el toro treated us quite well for all things considered that we just changed oil and spark plugs and came here so good race though. you took it too i mean, i did all i could i was like oh there he goes Do this. 
And he was in a coma for 40 days. Uh, basically, spent about five, six months, you know, battling this whole thing, you know, from recovery to everything in between. And he just recovered back in February, so it's been a long battle for him. And now here he is, right back out racing again. And he won his class. And <laughs> Maybe the prettiest fox body on the planet oh, sorry. with a 534. Oh, Don and Linwood. It's not that cool. I hope you enjoyed this week's videos. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. We're gonna have some more build series coming up and then future Rocky Mountain Race Week and other types of races like that. So hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you later.